Greg. All right, guys. So uh, we're taking Greg's front end off, and uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, but Greg says it'll be better. So we're gonna yeah, pop this thing off, and then grab that finger. <laughs> oh. You can I? Yeah. I don't want to mess it up. Yeah, you know what? Good old gel fiberglass. This is that real fiberglass stuff. It is. Nice. Wow, that looks different. Hey, it looks like a buggy. It does. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> For some reason, I really like this. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of neat. But, I mean, it looks a, a bit. Uh, odd but uh it is it kind of neat so we're got to get rid of those things so you remember i told you that yeah. we gave these spindles to greg and there you go he's already got them ready to go so there's my old spindles and brand new rotors and brand new calipers and all kinds of goodies all right so we moved the washer over and greg is greg already had these set up and we just needed a washer and the pinch nut and now this is left hand thread, so it's real confusing for my brain. <laughs> so get that tightened down and then you may have snugged to up. Hold on to this because I've only got use of one arm. Yeah, Greg, Greg bummed up his arm riding a little dirt bike. Yeah, yeah exactly. that happens. Them little ones get you. That's for sure. <laughs> so, so, um, and we probably don't even know that we need to tighten it down all the we way here. Just, yeah, we'll I'll just, just go ahead get, get it on it there. Ran on to where the, the bearings and stuff will pull out. Burn. So there we go. And uh, Greg's dad's a, a pretty ingenious. We won't tell him, but uh, this is a regular old speedo cable for uh, his aftermarket gauges, which is probably like a Chevy one or something, because it's that square normal peg. And I was like, that looks weird. And it's because the cap. Where'd that cap go? There it is. So what his dad did back in the day is grabbed a new cap. No, he didn't. It looks like he it's welded it. Cap and he welded he it. He welded the hole up yeah. and then made his Flip own. Flip it over and look on the inside. You can see where it's been burned. Wow. That's pretty funny. So he welded the hole up on the stock one and then made a little tiny square peg for the newer cable. That's pretty wild. All right, we popped the tie rod in loose. Uh, we did use the pickle fork here to make it pop it up uh, a little bit easier. Um, and trying to beat on it. And then uh, this one, I'm just gonna break these loose like that. Pull them off and then uh, we'll show you the pickle fork. Maybe. Um, we'll see if the pickle fork starts to separate it first yeah. and that'll kind of give us an idea. Yeah. That. Try that. Let's get it kind of forced in there and then. Right. I'm going sideways with it. There it is. There it is. all right so when this thing was was jacked up in the front just the top was twisted so this one's forcing down to raise the car up but this one's actually still coming up this way so it kind of fights each other it lifts the car up but it's kind of fighting each other which is making this part a little bit harder because they're both pushing the same way so we kind of had to pry them apart um so yeah it, it makes the, the ride really really stiff on this thing all right, so we got everything back on and since it was already kind of pre-assembled, pretty easy, everything bolted up and then had to do a little bit of, of grinding to be able to get his adapter back on here. All right, guys, there it is. That looks pretty good. Like I said, in order to run this spacer, we did have to do a little trimming on there and essentially flatten that off. But it looks good. Greg did a real good job on it. Um, but uh, if we had a a spacer or a, a bigger adapter, that would probably be good too. But the red calipers actually look pretty good with this thing. Check it out. Look at that. That is pretty dang racy. That's pretty killer. Both sides are done. Check that beast out. All right, there it is. So uh, it looks pretty killer. It's awesome to see a, a shiny rotor back in there. And then we got the, the red caliper and that red actually matches the car really good. It actually looks pretty awesome. But like I said, with these adapters going from the four to the wide five, um, we did have to grind on them a, a, a pretty good bit actually off the front of them 
just to make everything turn nice and smooth. And then we went and got her cleaned up and sprayed her red. Um, looks pretty good. And it stops really, really good. Like this thing, I told y'all before, this thing's way too dang fast uh, to not have uh, some disc brakes on it. So I, it worked out really good because I got lower in spindles and then Greg got disc brakes, which he needed. And Greg is happy. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it went well. Uh, well that's funny too, whenever you spend, you know, $10,000 on engine mods and you got stock brakes. People think, you gotta realize too, especially on this old stuff, when you double the horsepower, and I'm not, I didn't spend 10 grand on it, but when you double the horsepower, that's a big and jump. That's a big jump. You, yeah. I mean, the suspension and the brakes are not built to take that. You have to do something to beef them up, and uh, you know, it's one of them things. Yeah, and the brakes were not that good no. for the for not the for the power of the 40 engine. horse the and i guess this was probably a 70 horse wasn't it originally uh i think it was like a 65 or a 70 yeah. yeah it was a dual so, engine so. but now i mean it's probably it's 130 probably 150. 150. Uh, i would yeah, I, and i'm conservative i'm not it might be 500 horsepower it's probably 130. yeah you know it's which is a ton for uh for a 1700 you know. pound car yeah me in it yeah and it's uh you know Pretty freaking sweet. All right. Appreciate it, guys.